So guys, I won't lie, I was actually kind of interested in this movie until I found out one thing. One of the writers was the director of superhero movie. Yikes. The Huntsman Winter's War. So The Huntsman Winter's War follows The Huntsman from Snow White and the Huntsman, who is played by Chris Hemsworth, and it's pretty much a prequel and a sequel to Snow White and the Huntsman. I won't give away the entire plot, but what I, what I will say is this. Basically, it starts off as The Huntsman meets Jessica Chastain, who is the warrior, I guess, who has been shown in the trailer. Yeah, she's the warrior. So stupid. The Ice Queen, played by Emily Blunt, has been teaching her soldiers that basically you're not allowed to love or else you're getting kicked out of my kingdom. The two of them, of course, fall in love. They get kicked out, and then seven years later, things happen. And then afterwards, the Huntsman and the Warrior they band together to defeat the Ice Queen. Oh, yeah, I forgot as well. Charlie Theron's back in this. Alrighty, guys, so let's get into the Huntsman Winter's War. I think it looked like that Hemsworth was at least having fun, and there were some cool moments, I guess. Now, for those of you who have been following me since 2012, if you guys had seen my Snow White and the Huntsman review, I actually really liked Snow White and the Huntsman, and I thought that Krems Hemsworth was a great Huntsman, and I thought that if they ever did a Huntsman spin-off or prequel, I'd be interested. They did do it, but they did it in the most lazy way possible. I want to say this right now, the entire cast felt like they had wasted potential. Jessica Chastain wasn't good. Charlie Theron isn't great at all. Emily Blunt also gives the worst performance I have ever seen from her. I mean, oh my god. I don't know how she looked at this dialogue and was like... Am I really supposed to say that? One of the writers of this had directed a superhero movie, and that was Craig Mazin. This guy's writing in this movie is so terrible. There was at least a few times where I was just thinking, that is the most cliche dialogue you could speak right now. It wasn't just the dialogue, but how the story is pieced together in terms of the writing feels so lazy. Like, there's this one event that happens that I was assuming, okay, so that's how it connects to Snow White. I Okay, so I can understand that part. And then something happens and at one certain point, and then I was just thinking, okay, wait, what? They bring back Nick Frost. Totally wasted in this movie as well. The romance between Hemsworth and Jessica Chastain, I didn't buy it whatsoever. They, they literally, I feel like they cut out so many things to just go like, okay, we're just we're just extending the film's running time at this point. I just didn't care for what was going on. The action scenes, I mean, <laughs> they're okay, I guess. The CG, oh my god, the CG in this film. Oh, it's downright atrocious. Like, last week I saw The Jungle Book, which has some of the best CG I have ever seen. And now I go on to the Huntsman movie, and... Those freaking things are coming out of Charlie Theron's the ground beneath her. I was just like, oh my god. There's even this monster that Chris Hemsworth fights near, let's say, like, about halfway through the film, and how this thing looked... The graphics on this thing looks like something you'd see of a PS2 game. Now here's something I never really touch on with my videos, and that's production design. Now when you go to the Ice Queen's, you know, chamber her throne, there's little things, I swear to god, I know they're supposed to look like ice, but they look, but they look like Q-tips. When I realized what the whole plot was about, I was thinking, you have got to be kidding me right now. Overall guys, The Huntsman Winter's War is another unnecessary sequel that has a wasted cast, horribly bad CG, a lazy story that feels just half-assed, it just feels lazy. So I'm going to give this film overall a .5 out of 5, a .5. The cool moments that happen here and there in Hemsworth, I guess looking like he has fun are the only things that save this movie from a zero. But then again. After I think about this more, it'll probably go to a zero, but for now it's a 0.5. Alrighty guys, so comment down, let me know below. What is the most unnecessary sequel you have ever seen? Let me know below. If you guys like this review, please like, share, and subscribe to see more content from me. And, as always, until the next review, I will see you all next time.